Apparently this game has no quests. That's okay, we're here for the Levarium. Oh no, wait, it's... Oh. It's just broken. Let's try this again. Stanix Levarian. This is supposed to tell us all about Stanix. Where he comes from and all that goodness. It teaches us that we long for a better world, but hunger too quickly to do anything about it. So the Levarians are always pretty decent. If you donate there, they just say thank you. I have already done that. But I kind of had a quick go through here and left everything muted the whole time through. I haven't clicked on any of these buttons, I just had a quick look through because we have a little bit of artwork here, then the shield, a little bit more artwork, helmet, then his staff, and then him at the end. I do look, look, love the look of the Aventus. It looks pretty decent. Styanax, the Hoplite, the Spear Carrier, the Shield Bearer. The hero. We all know the story of Styanax and Leviathan. How wily Arya outwitted the cult leader they called the Philanthropist and called her Warframe ally down into the very heart of his monstrous laboratories. And no wonder, because these events did not happen in some distant epoch. In the times of the Orokin Fall, the Great Unraveling, the Age of Despots, or the Smaragdine Concord. They happen surprisingly recently. If they make reference to the, the little short anime, I'm gonna go crazy. They are. They already have. The... Yeah, let's just... We have so many monsters. Every child in Orokin times heard legends of the Belly Gaunt, the Slather, and the Venomous Thrax. Those were only stories. But one was real. Its creator was dubbed the Philanthropist. A corpus renegade, he established a cult in a formerly desolate region, in a location which I have agreed to keep secret to deter would-be looters and amateur archaeologists. The site was never abandoned, you see, and one person's historical curiosity is another's beloved home. With science, this philanthropist ensured ever more bountiful harvests and secured himself both gratitude and worship. Legend says he would travel the system, seeking out parentless children to shelter and educate. But this apparent charity concealed a darker purpose. Yep, I bet it did. Uh, I love the, sh the look of the shield. The fact that it has the detail of where the handle goes on the back. Oh yes. Do like the look of the... Can, I, can we spin it round? The shield of Styanax. Emblematic of his vow to protect those in danger. Young Arya was certainly in danger. And well she knew it. Along with her older brother, Darrow, she was one of the philanthropists chosen. When they came of age, they will be summoned for a ceremony called Ascension Day, at which they would be taken to dwell with the philanthropist in eternal paradise. Certainly, none of those taken were ever seen again. I do not know how Styanax became Arya's protector, but I am certain Arya knew that when the Philanthropist came for her, her ally would be waiting in the shadows. Well, yeah, they are literally just... This is just the story behind the... Uh, Leverian... Leviathan, even. It is. This was the fate of the Chosen. To be merged together into a single monstrous mass. Leviathan. What possessed the philanthropist to create such a, a travesty? We can only speculate. But we know that he had been studying the infestation and that he believed Warframes to be weak and obsolete. Perhaps he craved domination over others. Perhaps he yearned to create new life. Life over which he alone was God. 
Regardless, he was too much of a coward to pilot the thing himself. That was to be Arya's role. But Arya called upon Styanax, who, if the ruins of the temple roof are any indication, made an explosive appearance. Faced with the certainty of defeat, the philanthropist clambered into Leviathan and took command of it. And then Stanax cut it to pieces and it turned into my iron and flew off through a wormhole. No? Uh, somebody will get the reference. I'm just being stupid at that point. Uh, sorry, let's just move on. Sketches of the Sinmora helmet were discovered among Arya's possessions, implying Styanax had a different earlier appearance. Arya must therefore have been in contact with Styanax long before her Ascension Day. But how? There is a story that crops were found flattened in those fertile fields in the shape of a lotus flower. Not easily visible from the ground, but detectable by an automated satellite. Styanax was there to defend Arya, and defend her he did. Colossal fist met unyielding shield again and again with agility and endurance. The Warframe outpaced his towering foe. As the Warframe and the monstrosity did battle, Arya saw a familiar face among the multitude. Her brother, Darrow. His blank eyes showing no sign of recognition. Because he's been sucked into a giant monster and is now just nothing more than a car battery? I'll be brutally honest. Huh. Huh. That's new. As Styanax struck and struck again with the Aphentis, making little headway against the relentless Leviathan, a final desperate scream from Arya achieved the impossible. It awoke Darrow. From out of those thousands of fused bodies, a single mind was suddenly saying, No. Latching his remaining arm around his tormentor's throat with the very last of his life's strength, the doomed Darrow distracted the philanthropist long enough for Steinax to act. One last act of love and protection for his sister. But the Warframe hesitated. It seems he understood the importance of Darrow's rebellion. If one mind could turn upon its master, why not all of them? With but a gesture, he gave the captive minds their freedom. Suddenly awakened and aware of their hellish plight, the damned townspeople tore at the philanthropist's exposed face. The Leviathan's body coming apart as arms broke free from the mass, clawing for revenge. Together, they dragged the screaming philanthropist down, rending and tearing. In that moment, we can be assured the philanthropist knew the depth of his failure, his defeat. Without worshippers, a god is nothing. And Styanax delivered the final merciful stroke. Okay, really? Did it have to get that kind of gruesome and there he finally is at the end Stanex holding the weapon that for some reason it would not allow us while listening to that I love the smoke effect to turn around to be able to see the backside of because well actually you can't even see it on this one can you yeah it's missing the magazine you know that part right there Seems to be missing. Completely. Just not there. Imagine the horror the non-chosen felt in the aftermath. Fear, uncertainty, and above all, unquestioned habit had allowed a monster to flourish. Arya took over the cult and made it a community instead. They still thrive to this day. Or so it is claimed. Steinax is the story's hero, but it was Arya's courage that summoned him. All revolutions begin when one voice dares to say, 
I will not. Somehow, across the dark reaches, Steinak saw that courage burning bright and swore it would not stand alone. I would visit Arya's temple myself, but I am indisposed at present. Uh, a long-standing condition. All donations are, of course, appreciated. So basically recaps as to what happened after, which is pretty nice. Of course now, people will be asking, where's the card? Well, I've got my theories. But the only way we're going to find out is to level him, you will find out in a second. Because if we come back in after leveling him to 30, it now has a weird orange glow that wasn't here before. And as you could, I don't think it was there before, to be honest, probably have expected, you can't miss it. It's right there. The Prex card. It is, in fact, on this little pedestal that I thought it stood out quite a bit, and yes, that's exactly where the Prex card is. So we'll just grab that. And not that it really matters much, but if we head down here and have a quick look, it's... Oh, it's already there. We have 47, 48, 49, and 50. And, well, really, it's more like... Hmm, 45 onwards, so 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Their Prex cards can be found once they are leveled up. Maybe one day they may go back so this doesn't um, end up weirdly numbered because, well, there's 24, sorry, 42 and 41. We do, in fact, have Zaku's, but it's not numbered, even though it's right there. Bit weird, but that's where the Prex card is at the end of the variant, so we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.